no, Alibaba is the only way to go if you want to start an online business in record time. It's the time to go all in. Today's video, we're going to break down Alibaba, why you should be on this platform, why you should be buying products from Alibaba. I'm going to talk about my experience. I originally bought my first products on Alibaba in 2015. Let's go ahead and break down operation, how to start a private business. Now we're going to break down a lot of things in this video, so I recommend you stay to the end if you want to win in life. All right, let's cut deep to the... Uh, so one question I get all the time is how do you start a private business online? Well, we're going to break that down in this video and we're going to talk about Alibaba. Now you, some of you OGs may remember when I used to sell emojis, the OGs for the emojis. This was a massive business and we sold all kinds of emoji pellets. We had dozens of different designs that we used to sell. Now, before we dive too deep, I do want to tell you that this video is brought to you by e-commerce, the most in-depth detailed training for marketing and e-commerce on the internet. Click the first link down below and you will learn exactly how to scale, grow, or start to sell any product online fast, right now, and inexpensive. Check out ecommercist.com. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the topic of the video. Now, Alibaba is a great resource for a lot of people. I love Made in America products as much as the next guy or the next gal or the next gender neutral being. <clears throat> but the thing is, what we want to focus on is quickly and efficiently getting quality products to be able to get in the hands of your consumers. Now, the cool thing is you could do all this anonymously. On this channel, Privacy X, you can go to privacyxproject.com right now, and I show you in the video section how to create a private business. I talk about ghost LLCs, and I talk about how to break down an entity where you're private and anonymous, and being able to work from anywhere has never been more realistic of a solution for most people. Now. I've personally helped thousands of clients worldwide do this over the last decade, and you could do it as well. And Alibaba is probably one of the best places to start. So what do you do? What are you looking for? Well, you're looking for products that you can sell on different platforms, whether it's Shopify, whether it's Amazon, whether it's Walmart.com, whether it's insert any way, but really Shopify is a great option. Some of these other platforms are also great options. And you're looking for products that typically are 3x which you can buy them for now the great thing is it gives you a lot of scaling options which is why i mentioned e-commerce is because i break down over 30 hours of marketing training just for e-commerce and exactly how me and other people like me have been able to do this because a lot of people will tell you facebook ads and things like that it just doesn't work it's expensive and it is ineffective you're not going to convert in the way you want facebook's great for testing it is horrendous for scaling so Let's go ahead and break this down, shall we? Let's go ahead and get into some of the options you have with Alibaba. Now, the first thing is ordering products. You can use a, you can use a, a, a basically a product sourcing agent, and there's a ton of them in China. In fact, here on this channel, I did do a video on exactly product sourcing agents. So you can check out that video, and I break down my recommendations for who you could use, or you could find your own. And what you could do is you could source products from Alibaba right from the comfort of your own computer, and then when you import them. You can either wise import them to a fulfillment center at a place like Amazon, or you can look at Walmart and even Shopify, and even eBay is starting getting into the fulfillment game because it's the most relevant way to grow and scale an e-commerce business. Or you can have them shipped directly to your house or your warehouse or your office or however you conduct business. And you have the ability to uh, you have the ability to create your own brand. Now, the, the most powerful way to use Alibaba is private label. However, a lot of people don't realize that Alibaba is a great wholesale resource. I've seen a lot of people scale massive businesses just with wholesale, basically buying generic or white label or unbranded products and sell them on Amazon through wholesale. The cool thing is there are millions with an M, m, -m, -m, -m millions of new products yearly, yearly, because products are being updated, they're being changed, and you can figure out what you want to sell. Now, how do you figure out what you want to sell? Well, it's, there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing this, but ultimately what you're looking at is you're looking at getting into a sub niche. Okay. You're, you're looking at getting into a sub niche and in the free training over on e-commerce, I got the free training. I break down 15 of the best niches you could sell right now on 
Ali or basically on any platform, but you can source the products from Alibaba. Now you might be saying, Cody, you talk a lot about made in America products. In fact, I've switched a lot of my products over the last year or two to three years actually, but really started laser focusing the last year on made in America. That's correct. Now, did the pandemic hit the whole Alibaba thing? For a little bit, yeah, it, it hit it hard. But now things have kind of started to get back to normal as far as trading from country to country. And basically, there's no difference than it was a year ago. And a year ago, before all, everything changed in the world, we were at the peak of products coming into America. Now, the one thing I will say about China is the quality of product is directly correlated to you know, the, the manufacturer building it and what you're willing to buy. As much as I love Made in America products, and I buy Made in America whenever possible, China has gotten a bad rap, okay? The, the fact is, I mean, some of the most expensive, like this computer is 4,500 bucks. Now, that's not a brag, it's just a fact. I edit video on this, I work on this. You know, these, these iPhones are like 1,500 bucks, but they're made in China. Why is that? Why This expensive microphone, probably, I'd have to look, probably made in China, right? Why are all these things made in China? Well. Because China manufacturing is better than you think and more efficient than pretty much anywhere else in the world, but labor's cheaper. It's just a fact. It's just a, it's an economic fact. So if you're spending what I spend on these gadgets in China, what would you be willing to pay for America? Like, look at everything you own. Would you be willing to pay double or triple? Maybe yes, maybe no. But for most of you, you couldn't afford it. The average American household makes about 55 grand a year. You take out insurance, daycare, mortgages or rent, car payments, insurance, cell phone. You don't have any money left, okay? Most of you don't have any, and that's your biggest problem. That's why you need to start a business fast as things change while there's still the wild west in e-commerce because most of you don't have enough money. If you make 50, 60 grand a year, you don't have any money for anything. You don't have any money to buy these expensive products. So it's not that you don't want to support your country and it's not just america it could be canada it could be any other country it's you may or may not even have the money to buy them because things have gotten so out of hand I'm, the only reason even though i have the money i can only justify buying these expensive devices because i'm in business because it's a business expense if it was just for me to surf the internet and email my grandma well, then I don't think I'd be spending 4,500 on a computer. I'd be seeing, you know, some cheap piece of crap Dell. <laughs> but no, I'd still be buying Apple, that's for sure. But you can call me an Apple fanboy and you would be correct. But the reality is, what I would say in this scenario is when you're buying these products, keep that in mind. Chinese manufacturing has gone through the roof. It's gotten a way, lot better. Now, if you can afford a product that you can have made in America and sell in America and people are willing to buy that, I think that's great, and that's the best option, whether it's America, Canada, Europe, I mean, Germany is, is known for their engineering. You look, at, uh, you look at Japan for electronics, that's great. But we've priced ourselves out of the market. So a lot of people say, oh, Cody, these cheap Chinese products, I think you should look again. As much as, as much as, like I said, as much as I'm a fan of this country, I love America, but China has really leveled up their game. In fact, they've leveled up so high that I predict in the next 10 years, we're gonna be pivoting manufacturing to a lot of other countries because China's gonna get too expensive, believe it or not. What people do is they buy the cheapest stuff from China and say, oh, this cheap Chinese junk. Yeah, if you're buying $3 products, of course, we can't produce anything better in America. Well, what do you think you can produce in America for a couple of bucks? A piece of bubble gum? Literally nothing, okay? So you gotta compare apples to apples. People will buy like the most premium product from America and like a dollar store product from China and be like, oh, cheap Chinese junk. No, it's not. It's not fair to compare. You gotta compare apples to apples. So Alibaba is a great resource. Now another thing some people don't know is more countries are getting online at Alibaba all the time because Alibaba doesn't actually sell the products like a lot of people think. Alibaba is a platform for other manufacturers to be able to plug into and connect with customers, small businesses, i.e. you and me and millions of others. And so you have manufacturers from countries worldwide on Alibaba. Alibaba is a directory, it's a platform, it's a network of suppliers. So bring that in and that is a great option for you and for me. The cool thing is you could do all this from anywhere in the world from your internet. So, and nowadays with Elon Musk doing what Elon Musk does and creating Starlink, you could be in a Airstream in the middle of Wyoming and you could be running a full scale e-commerce business, fishing by day, filling orders by night, right? You could be fly fishing in Aspen or you can be skiing in the, in the Cascade Mountains. 
You could be at the beach in San Diego. Like literally it's crazy what's possible with e-commerce. And I mean, I, I've been blown away. Now I'm a guy with four kids. And so I spend a lot of time working because my kids are young. I spend most of my time with them and working. But I got clients who I've talked to that they spend all their time, they're nomadic. And I've always kind of talked about nomadic. I, I go on different trips and vacation stuff. And I've always been nomadic in the brain, but in reality, I've got deep roots because I got kids, I got, you know, I got a lot of responsibilities, I got businesses, I got things I have to tend to. But the reality is it is mind blowing that Alibaba has opened doors between Alibaba and fulfillment centers. It doesn't have to be Amazon, but it can be Amazon, it can be Walmart, or it can be any other platform, but really it could be your own Shopify store, which is the best option, in my opinion, to be able to scale. I mean, you look at, you, you go all in. We've been able to grow and scale. I get coffee sales every day. I just open up my laptop, coffee sales, premium, go all in coffee, boom, more sales. There you go. Go all in shop.com, booyah, right? You could do this too. You can be able to scale your product. Now, none of my products on go all in are from Alibaba, but we've sold a lot of products over the years from Alibaba. You know, you look at meal prep products. I showed you the emoji pillows. You've seen those on my channel for years. I don't want to bore you to death with all the products we've done, but you can go back through some of our videos that I haven't taken down. So I've took down a lot. Of, I've took down over 500 videos on this channel, but uh, you, know, you look back some of those, but really what I focus on is the privacy component of Alibaba. The fact that you could build a business from anywhere anonymously, you can start a Wyoming LLC, <laughs> You could get on Alibaba, find a product, sell it on a platform like Amazon or your own Shopify store, and you basically have a ghost business. You build a, a social presence, which is not that hard to do. And you really, it's not about followers, it's about marketing. It's about connecting people with products that add value to them. Period. Period. So anyway, would you recommend using Alibaba, Cody? Yeah, I'd recommend it over almost anything because it's easy to streamline and it's simple to use. You get a sourcing agent who could actually inspect your products over in China and send them to you. Streamlined, streamlined. And for all the problems I've had clients have over the years, problems with Walmart, problems when Jet was a thing, problems, all the problems with Amazon, all the problems with eBay. Shopify is pretty good. WordPress, WooCommerce is pretty good. Uh, but all the problems with these platforms, I've had almost no clients ever have any substantial problems with Alibaba. As crazy as that sounds. As crazy as that sounds. Probably the platform you have the least problems with is Shopify and Alibaba. I'm just gonna say it, right? Because they've got the trade assurance and if you do have an issue, they'll take care of the issues. Now issues arise, things happen, products arrive broken, but they always seem to take care of it because Alibaba has some pretty good rules in place. Now back in like 2015, 16, 14, 17, Things were a little bit more of the Wild West and it was easier to have issues and people would be worried. Now, don't use like MoneyGram or Western Union, but if you're just strictly going through Alibaba, you could crush the game. So that's really what I got to say about that. Should you check out Alibaba? I would. Should you check out e-commerce? Yeah, if you want to be able to grow and scale any product online, first link down below. Check it out. Have an amazing day. Go all in and everything you do. Clearly, I should stop drinking three cups of uh, go all in coffee and I'm going to see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.